Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, we're back today with another best class setup video. Here today we're going to be using the AK-117. I've recently got all the attachments for this weapon and got the weapon progression all the way to the gold camo unlock. Now I'm going to complete all the camo challenges and I've played around with all the attachments and I've found that this particular setup that I'm going to be showing in today's video is the setup that feels really ideal and comfortable for my sort of playstyle. Obviously with each of the weapons within this game you've got to learn how the weapons work and what sort of playstyle is, you know, needed for this particular weapon. And obviously with the AK-117 it's more of a, an aggressive run and gun sort of weapon. Which is obviously fits really ideal for my sort of playstyle. So for the attachments I've got for this by the way, I have got on my stock, I've got a w, uh, OWC skeleton stock obviously at the end of the day this weapon definitely does need a stock and I'll go into more detail about it for the video. Obviously for my perk selection I've got a perk called long shot which is basically going to give this weapon a little bit more damage which is very ideal. Uh, but nothing on my laser or anything, but nothing on my muzzle or my barrel or my optic. You can run with this weapon with an optic but I find that the iron sights on this weapon are pretty good out of the art, you know what I mean? Uh, but on the under barrel section I've got a strike foregrip. And on my ammunition, I've got a 48 round extended mag. Because obviously when you're firing this weapon, as you can see, you can go for a lot of ammunition really easily. So having a 48 round extended clip, I see as the extra bullets are going to probably help you a lot more when it comes to gunfights. And I find that this is just so very useful for my sort of playstyle. Obviously I've got a rear grip on this weapon, I've got the um, stapled grip tape on it. Um, but that is the sort of things I roll with on this particular weapon. Obviously, if it says that you are more of a run and gun sort of player like myself, then I believe that this is going to be a good best class setup for you all. And if you do use it, guys, I'm hoping that each and every single one of you out there absolutely shred with the setup. Now, I mean, I will be making more setups as well to cater different sorts of playstyles in the future. Like different ones if you're more of a you know, sneaky sort of flanking sort of person who likes to roll with suppressors and stuff. I will make some unique setups like that in the future if you would like to see that sort of thing. But my go-to setup for this particular weapon, since my, you know, my camo grind with it has been this sort of setup. So hopefully, it's going to work wonders for you when you use it. But obviously, I'm going to carry on playing this particular match now so you can see how we use it for the remainder of the game. Then after the game, I will go into the gunsmith feature so you can see exactly the sort of things I've been talking about. But, like I said guys, obviously when you're rolling with this weapon with the stock and everything, this weapon does need stock. You need to be able to turn easily and obviously be able to aim better when you're downside to be able to easily snap onto people. Because some weapons in this game I have noticed are really slow when it comes to aiming down sides and stuff. And you want this weapon to be as quick as possible. You want to be able to aim down sights and just lock onto people and be able to shred them before they get the chance to get the jump on you. So that's what I like to roll with when it comes to this. Obviously I do have my own little things as well that I have in my own sort of loadout sections. I should see when I use the Annihilators, my Operator skill and stuff. Which does give me a little bit of the upper hand in like, sort of advantage when I need to get some cheeky easy kills. Um, but for the AK-117 I do think, in my personal opinion, this is probably my best best class setup that I could possibly do for this weapon. But like I said, I'm going to try to play around with a little bit more attachments. And if you want to see more different types of best class setup videos, um, catering around different sorts of playstyles, then let me know. But I'm going to keep doing this moving forward. Obviously, when you're seeing this video, obviously you're going to see it in a later point. So there's going to be points when I'm grinding this game off camera a lot of the time. I'm going to be trying to get more gold camos with other weapons. And I'm going to try to give you even more best class setup videos, okay? So make sure you look out for them, guys. I've got lots more videos to still to share with you all when it comes to Call of Duty Mobile, especially throughout Season 9. We've got Battle Royale videos, more multiplayer videos, more best class setups, and much, much more, okay? So make sure you look out for them. Well, let me know what you think of the best class setup, okay? And hopefully you all enjoyed me shredding there within multiplayer because, man, I just, I just love kicking butt and just taking names, okay? I love it. But once this loads up, I'm going to show you what the setup looks like within the gunsmith feature. So obviously if you want to try this loadout for yourself, obviously just make sure that you uh, copy the loadout I've got. Obviously some of the attachments you're going to need to obviously unlock yourself. You're not going to be able to obviously use them straight away. So have a bit of a good grind with the weapon. Try to get all the attachments and then start trying to 
play around with different attachments to see if they cater around your sort of playstyle. Like, it took me a little while to try and get this set up perfect for my playstyle. Because I had to do a little bit of swapping out here, taking this off, adding this on. And when I found this setup and I found that it really worked for me, I was like, do you know what? I need to share it with you guys. You know what I mean? I knew I needed to. Because I know a lot of you out there aren't very good with the uh, gunsmith feature. Or you're struggling with it. Maybe it's not something that you're used to. But this is the setup, okay? Like I said, on the stock, I've got the OWC Skeleton stock. My perk selection, I've got the long shot. Underbarrel, the strike four grip. Ammunition, the 48 round extended mag. And on my rear grip, the stapled grip tape. That is my setup, guys. Hopefully, it helps you out a lot when you're using it within multiplayer. Let me know if you managed to get any nukes or anything with it. And let me know if you've been using the setup, if it's worked really well for you. I just love to hear feedback about it, and if you want to see more of this sort of thing in the future, by all means, let me know. I'll keep grinding the game, and I'll keep giving you more best class setups, okay? Because I'm absolutely loving Call of Duty Mobile, I'm loving this gunsmith feature, and I can't wait to more, make more videos on this. Anyways, if you are new to the channel, guys, and you're checking out this video for the very first time, on the channel, then all I ask is that you give this video a big fat thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. Make sure to turn on the post notification icon. And notify you will load any new content in the nearby future. Got plenty more videos still to come. And also in the description, guys, is a link to my second channel, More Aaron Cooper, where I play various different games. I do full games, let's plays, fan made games, and much, much more. So if you want to see more content from me that isn't Call of Duty related, head over to my second channel. Make sure you subscribe on there and turn on the bell icon. And I'll see you again in my next video. Take care.